Welcome back to the swamp. I just want to start off by saying the Amazon rainforest is on fire. Um, it's horrible. Uh, the Madagascar fire, uh, their forest is gone. Um, there goes, you know, Earth's oxygen. Uh, uh, not even Logan Paul could stop the raging fires down in Brazil. Now back to uh, real news, Trump news, orange man bad news. He got the weekend kicked off to a crazy start. He helped the stock market drop about 600 points. He uh, ordered businesses to stop doing business with China, bring the jobs back. He told UPS, FedEx to look for fentanyl and destroy it if it's coming from China. That 100,000 Americans a year are dying from fentanyl uh, and it's coming from China. I guess, I don't know. I'm, I'm not really a fentanyl freak. I'm, I'm not even an oxymoron. I'm not even a, a Roxy rocker. Look man, I don't even turn the volume up, you know, so. I can't even add up Adderall. So I don't know if the fentanyl is coming from China or if it's coming from your local doctor. I, I couldn't. I, but uh, stock market went down 600 points. He told businesses that you got to quit doing business with China. He uh, said, look, I do have second thoughts. I kind of wish I tariffed them more. So uh, trade wars kind of escalated, I would say. Okay, so that, that's just going into the weekend. Um, then Trump's at this G7 party. Boring. Um, he started, uh, I guess, a back and forth thing, you know, him and Boris Johnson, you know, two peeps, one, one pod, uh, two men in the tub, rubber dub dub, um, congratulating him about Brexit, um, you know, how they're going to open up the ports so England can have their boats go where the hell they want to go. Boring. Uh, then uh, Trump was kind of like bragging on Twitter. I don't know if this is verified, but he's like, every world leader here at this G7 um, summit, they're like, dude, America is doing so great. You're the greatest world leader. Why does the media hate you so much? Now, I don't know if that's verified because I can't really picture other world leaders saying that. Could just be an ego trip. But I'm asking you, do you think possibly that that's correct? I'll put the tweet up. Um, leave a comment down below, please. I love to hear from you. Um, in fact, going back to my last video about Trump being the Antichrist, Shout out to um, the people you guys, there's a couple people who said, yeah, this guy's a little horn. And uh, yeah, this dude is the Antichrist. This guy is a freak. And you know, the Amazon rainforest is on fire. And the president of Brazil, he doesn't give a flip about it. He's like, as soon as these fires go out, we can pave, you know, get some malls going, put a uh, Walmart up. Getting back to lighter news. Uh, the big three championship is next Sunday. If you're interested in three on three basketball with um, some old fogies, some boomers playing some basketball. And these guys are like ex legends too. So it's, it's a pretty fun league. It's going to be um, um, who is it? Triplets? Three headed monster? Man, these teams power. I know power's out. Powers out. They lost to um, to uh, <laughs> yeah. They lost. I know uh, Joe Johnson. He's going triplets, triplets, and um, uh, damn triplets and whoever beat Power. One thing I really uh, uh, that you know, it was really fun for me, was the uh, television show Breaking Bad. It was a uh, classic, right? Um, well, Netflix announced that the Breaking Bad movie that everyone's been waiting for. I've been actually waiting for uh, Better Call Saul, like season three. It literally seems like it's 
been uh, over a year, or so, two years almost now, since the last season. I don't know what's up with that. But the Breaking Bad movie that's going to follow up with Jesse, Captain Crunch, um, whatever happened to him. Um, so let me know in the comment section, are you guys digging that or is it... Netflix is going to give us some try hard. Eh. We'll watch it, I'm sure. We'll definitely watch it. You know, it's breaking bad, bad boys. You know, we'll, we'll give it a spin. Two surprising turn of events happened. One, Popeyes came out with a new chicken sandwich that just took everything by storm. Ch game changer. Have you guys tried it? Some places are running out. Some managers are just saying, hey, we're, we're, not a, we're not a chicken sandwich place here. We do buckets. You ain't here for a bucket. Then you gotta fly the coop. Um, but other people who have tried it are like, man, this is a nice, good, greasy, crispy chicken with like its own custom pickles and slathered in mayonnaise. Ugh. What's up with you mayo freaks? Like, honestly, like, I've seen, I, man, I've been held at knife point for not getting a, um, a, uh, mayo eater's mayo just right, like, where I handed them a knife and I said, why don't you do it, you flipping self. But yeah, uh, it has mayonnaise on it, which I guess it gives it the, um, uh, wing up on the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. So let me know which one you prefer, or are you uh, one of these oddball Wendy's? You know, Wendy's ain't getting enough love. What about Burger King? They got a spicy chicken sandwich. You load that up with some extra tomatoes, throw some pickles on there. I don't know if uh, Burger King even has any form of lettuce, so uh, got me. Um, but yeah, also Andrew Luck, man, retiring. The dude hung it up before he's even 30. He turns 30, I believe, September 12th. And he has a roughly around $100 million and cash and prizes. Uh, do you feel like he kind of let his team down? Like, Alex Smith is rehabbing like a broken leg and got an infection, almost lost a limb, and he's still planning on maybe not coming back this year, maybe next year, next season. Um, he should retire maybe, you know, but Andrew Luck, uh, he's doing this rehab, he's in constant pain, he gets injured again, and what's crazy is the offensive line for the Colts actually looks decent, finally, they might not, like, you know, let the dude get broken in half, like, but Andrew Luck, a class act, he's going off into the sunset, the Colts, Colts fans on uh, Saturday night booed, booed the bro. Like, are you guys down with that? Like, I mean, Tom Brady's playing and he's like, what? 41, 50 something? Like, jumping off cliffs with his daughter? Like, maybe he should retire. Look, look what Brett Favre did. He popped a few pillies, started feeling like a rock star. Man, Andrew Luck, man. What's next? Coaching? Quarterback coaching? Um, is he going to take the Tony Romo route? Um, has he earned the Tony Romo route? What do you guys think about this? Or do you guys think maybe he'll make a, a comeback? He's not quite done yet. Just needs a rehab. Also a uh, dis very disturbing story. This might even have its own eerie music, but if I had the time, who has the time? Well, I should be announcing my retirement. Mayana. We'll see. Um, Apple, is, it's been revealed. They have people like, you know, listening to a thousand Siri, Siri recordings. And these recordings include drug deals, people having sex, uh, intimate speech, you know, that they didn't even realize that was being recorded by Siri. Apple's like, yeah, we respect people's privacy, but yeah, we were literally selling this information out and having people listen to Siri recordings. I mean, it's pretty sick, sick stuff. I mean, that's one reason to cash out on Apple. I would, I, well, I was thinking about cashing in on Apple, but maybe not now.
What do you guys think? Are you guys cool with Surrey recording conversations, like a drug deal even? And then like having some employee listen to it and be like taking notes or whatever? I don't... Yeah, like Apple had these like Irish dudes like literally listening to a thousand recordings per day, two per minute in Ireland and then they like fired them all. It's like something's going on. Someone needs to take a bite out of this apple. You know what they say about one bad apple? Gonna ruin the Apple 11 maybe. But until then, cash Swampy T. McCartney. It's great always seeing you guys. Um, I know my videos suck. I know like no one watches them. Um, I'm still going, but they're fine, you know. Until next time, I'm going to be cashing out.